Hey there, Sleepyhead. <laughs> what a coincidence meeting you here. Well, it is your bed, but... And yeah, it is the middle of the night, but... You said I could come over, remember? You never said you had to be awake when I arrived. Or that I even had to knock. Or that I couldn't come through the window. And honestly, I interpreted your invitation as a standing offer. So coming in the middle of the night is as good a time of any, right? I hope you don't mind me being here, darling. And I really hope I'm not bothering you either. Am yeah, I, baby boy? You look kind of restless on the camera. Shifting around so much. So I thought I'd come try to comfort you. Help you go to sleep. But if I'm being a bother, I could leave if you want. I'd only be very, very reluctant about it. You know, I wouldn't want to leave you like this. But if that's what you want. Would you like that? Hmm? Good boy. Then I'll stay right here. Where my darling sweetheart needs me. There's nothing wrong with having mommy stay with you. Especially if you're having a rough night. In fact, I'd sleep with you in bed every single night. If you let me, you know, just because you're an adult doesn't mean you're too old to sleep with your mommy. Besides, I'm not that much older than you. But anyway, so, what's on your mind, darling? Hmm? Ah, not in a very talkative mood, huh? tell you what. How about I can tell you what's on my mind? And then I guess you can decide if you want to open up. So, personally, right now I've been thinking about how lucky I am to be in the bed of the cutest, most precious boy in the entire world. He's adorable. So, so stunning. Even if he was wearing cute little cat ears, I don't think it could make him any cuter. I feel like the luckiest woman in the world to be able to be with you. To call you mine, which I guess I do so, so often. It's one of my favorite things to say. I'm so honored when he lets me run my fingers through his hair. Or place his head down on my lap. Or even resting his head on my chest. I'm so, so blessed. He let me watch over you. Even if the cameras are probably a bit much. I'd feel so uneasy if it wasn't like this, being able to keep tabs on you. I just have an overwhelming instinct to take care of you. I worry that you're in danger every single moment if I'm not watching you. And of course, I'm talking about you, my darling. My precious little cuddle buddy. Now how do you feel? Will you tell mommy what's on your mind? What's giving this good boy trouble? Did you have a bad dream? You know, if you saw a monster in your dreams, just think of me. I'll take down anyone who tries to hurt you. Every single monster. 
or is someone causing you trouble? You know I can fix that, baby. I can't let anyone hurt my darling. And nobody will get away with it. Nobody can touch my baby boy. Just tell me who it is. I'll hurt them in any way you want. Anything. Are you sure nobody's causing you trouble? If you say so, darling. I'm sorry to get so violent. You know how I can be. Just don't worry. I would never attack anyone without your permission. Unless it was self-defense, of course. Anyway, care to tell me what's on your mind? <laughs> oh, baby. Touch dark. You know, you can call on me any time. Any time you feel that way. You know mommy will be here. I'll touch you however you want, darling. So if you want a lap pillow, or a chest pillow, or maybe to be my little spoon, all you have to do is ask. I'll do anything for you. Anything. Nothing is off the table. Understand? So would you like something like that? I'm guessing you would, right? Can I touch you? Can I wrap my arms around you and hold your precious little head to my chest so you can hear my heartbeat and relax? Come here, baby. There we go. I hope I'm not holding you too tight, am I? Do you want me to hold you a little tighter? Mm. Of course. Anything my good boy wants, my good boy gets. And you, you are my goodest boy best boy in the world. <laughs> there you go, baby. You look like you're having a good time. Yeah? That's good. You deserve it, you know? You deserve the world. Anything you want. Everything you want and need. I want to give it all to you. Everything that I can. Everything I have the power to give. It's all yours. Even if I have to lie. Or steal. Even if I have to hurt somebody. It's all for you. Is this the sort of thing that makes you feel loved, darling? I don't mean it in a judgmental way or anything. I'm honestly kind of glad that you like receiving affection this way. Being able to hold you. It makes me feel so close to you. I guess I'm just trying to say that I love you. I love you very, very much. And you're my very, very good boy. Sometimes I... I struggle with how I should express that love. Sometimes I... rack my brain thinking of how I should show you. Show you that I love you. I can never decide... 
I should give you my entire heart, or give you everything in the world. But of all things, if holding you like this is what you want, then I guess you're a very simple man. That's good. There's nothing wrong with being simple. Nothing wrong with wanting this. Anyway, Mommy likes holding you like this, too. Not just because it makes you happy. Although I do like to make you happy. It just feels right. You're mine, and holding you like this is only natural. You're all mine, and nobody else gets to do this with you. And I refuse to share you with anyone else. How could I share someone like you? So precious. And when you look at me, I... I see the love in your eyes. I think about how honored I am, how happy I am that you met me and I want to keep you to myself for no one else to see you. You're mine and only mine. And I guess as far as your time, I wish you would have told me sooner. You should have told me that you were so touched on. And be a lot more physically clingy, you know? Giving you anything you want. I've honestly been holding back, but... I know I already seem really touchy. It's just how I act when I'm restraining myself. If I wasn't holding back, I probably would never let go of you. I would be all over you every single second of the day. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but does this mean I can be closer to you? If we go out and do things. Do I have to ask first? Or can I kiss you whenever I want? Hug you whenever? I mean, obviously I won't do it when it could be a bit embarrassing, but just whenever I want, right? <clears throat> Thanks for clearing that up, baby. You're such a good boy. I know it must be a bit weird. I put cameras on your walls. I want to hug you and kiss you all the time. Where does it end, hmm? Mm. But you know, I do have a bit of restraint. I'll make sure that you feel comfortable and you get whatever you want. But for now, I guess I'll be hugging you a lot more often. So look forward to it, okay? Mm. And I will say I forgot to tell you this, but you've been very brave and so, so strong. You told me all about your problems. You are vulnerable for me. Just one more thing I love about you, darling. It made me so happy. I'm so happy you trust me. And I'm so happy I can be yours. Could we do this more often? Just the two of us, cuddling to sleep like this. 
I wouldn't see you so, so happy, darling. Even if it's just watching you fall asleep. You're so much more lovely when I see you this close. On the camera, it all feels so far. You know, you could come to my place anytime you want. And just the two of us. We could do anything. And I won't disturb you if you want to sleep. And my bed is super soft. Not as soft as me, of course, but... What do you say? Hmm? <laughs> How about... You come over. And then I'll treat you right. Hmm? Come be... My baby boy. Sweet dreams for now, okay? I love you. So much. What's the matter, baby? <laughs> Jeez, do I always have to come give you hugs? So, are you gonna tell me what's going on, or am I gonna have to pry it right out of you? No, baby. I think you're beautiful. I think you're smart. And I don't think you're useless, I promise. If somebody told you that, just forget them anyway. She probably just wants to be your girlfriend or something. Or maybe she's just jealous that you're absolutely perfect. At least that's what I think. So that's the only thing that matters. Because I love you. I love you so much. So, tell me about your day. Did you do anything fun? Anything exciting? Hey. Why do you still look so worried and sad? Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Other than, you know, the occasional hug, maybe a kiss or two. Is there anything else? <laughs> You're so cute. You know, it's fine if that's what you want. I can sit here and you stay in my lap until you feel better, okay? However long that might take, I guess it might take quite a bit of time since, uh, how long has it been since we did this? I guess it was just the other day. Just sitting with you here in my lap. So comforting. And I love that I can be here for you. You know, you sitting on my lap for hours at a time is a little uncomfortable. I bet you thought it was totally fine, but it sometimes hurts my legs. But I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Totally okay with it. Because that means you're happier. I just remember when I stood up, I couldn't feel my legs, and it was kind of funny, really. No, I'm, I'm not mad at you, babe. I'm just... Trying to lighten the mood, you know? Of all the things that I do for you, I don't mind them at all. It's just a tiny little thing. Tiny inconvenience that fixes itself so quickly. 
And if it means that you're a thousand times happier, I don't mind going through anything for you. As long as you feel better, as long as it makes you happy, then I'll be happy too. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm, I'm not joking, I promise. I honestly would do anything for you. Why would you even think that's something I would joke about? It's really simple, actually. I would do anything for you. Because I want to. It's as simple as that. I just want to. You can tell me I'm stupid or whatever you want. Just because I'm willing to do anything, but... I never regret it. Not one bit. And honestly, it just makes my day so much better to see you so happy. Like I said, I just want to. And besides, we know the two of us enjoy all the time we have together. If you get to sit in my lap, it's just a bonus. I love doing things like this for you. So there's no reason to act like I don't. You look a little tired, baby. You know, you should probably try to go to bed soon. But you don't have to get up. You can fall asleep here if you want. I'll sit here for however long it takes. It could be an entire eight hours of sleep if you want. I'll be here as long as you need. Until maybe my legs get a little too sore. But then I guess I could scoot you off and take you to bed. I could probably just carry you over. Actually, maybe we should start doing this on the bed. If we're always sitting on the couch or on the floor, then it makes it a bit harder to go to sleep at night. But you always get so sleepy. Don't worry about it though, baby. It's okay. Something we can think about another day. I think I would just enjoy it if you're having a good time. And if you prefer sitting here, then it's fine by me. Because I like it. I like it when you sit on my lap. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, maybe I am just really weird or something. Enjoying spending, wasting hours of my time to take care of you. Just sitting here with you in my lap. But, what else would I rather be doing? Nothing else. Because I love you. I love you right now, and I'll love you always. And I always want to be here for you whenever you're sad. Whenever you have the slightest problems in the world. I always want to be there for you. You can always come to me, you know? Don't ever feel embarrassed or ashamed that you have to do this. It's not bad to want some comfort, you know? And honestly, I, I like it a lot when you come open up to me. 
I mean, it's healthy after all. I open up to you too about all my problems, but you don't do it as often. I don't want you to feel that you have to hold things back. And I don't want you to think that you bother me. You don't. You never do. I always want to listen to what you have to say. So never feel like you're getting in the way. At the end of the day, it makes me happy knowing you're safe. All my problems just disappear as long as I'm with you. So maybe I really don't have any problems. As long as we can make each other happy, we can get through anything, right? Feel free to fall asleep whenever you want, okay? I'll be right here with you. The entire time. Sleep well, baby. Okay? Oh, baby. Need to wake up. Come on, you've been asleep for ages. And yeah, I know it's our day off, but if we spend the whole day in bed, it's going to waste away. Don't just turn away from me. You know you can't escape my kisses. Wouldn't you like some of them? You know, I'll just have to kiss your neck if you're going to face away from me. Even when you're half asleep. <laughs> You know, I can tell you still love it every time I kiss your neck. I know you do. <laughs> but seriously, baby, we, we need to get up. You can't just roll around and groan in bed. I guess maybe we can stay in bed for a little bit longer. But only a little, okay? And if we're going to stay in bed, you at least have to be in my arms. Mm. That is so much better. You are so, so warm. I love my idiot boyfriend. You are such a warm and lovable idiot. Did you not sleep well last night? Hmm. Oh, no. You poor baby. If you didn't sleep well, then why didn't you tell me so? Maybe if we cuddle for a long while, you can feel better. You know, I was thinking all this morning. Can I tell you? It might sound a bit cheesy, but I've missed you. Every time I wake up before you, I just miss you so much. 
I always sit there and look at your adorable sleepy face. You know, sometimes you make the dumbest faces in your sleep. I don't mean it in a creepy way, of course, but you're just so cute. You know, we should have a nap later. Together, if you want. I only have to run a few errands today, and... I was kinda hoping you would come with me. I don't really like going out on my own. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen. And I always feel so much safer with you. I was hoping maybe you would come with me. But if you're too tired, you don't have to. No, baby, I, it won't be for that long. Maybe an hour. And even then, that might be too long. We just need to go get some groceries and come right back to bed. Not before we eat, though, because I really am starving. We could grab some breakfast on the way back. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? I know how much you love some bacon in the morning. And I really, really want some pancakes. I know how much you love it. You don't have to act like it's too much. It's been a while since we ate out. And I want to treat you right. And if that means I spoil you with a super yummy breakfast. And then coming right back to bed. Then it's all worth it. I don't care what I have to do to make you happy. I'll do anything. And I'll spoil you all the way. You know, I really want to play with your hair. Do you mind? There we go. Feels good, right, baby? I always love playing with your hair. It's always so, so soft. And it's really relaxing. You might think it's a lot of work. Having to focus so hard on your delicate hair. It's so, so soft, but it relaxes me so much. It kind of reminds me of petting a puppy dog. If only you had some ears and a tail. At least that way I could have a cute way to see you when you're happy. You could wag your tail all quick and be my good Good boy. That doesn't mean you're not already my good boy. Because you surely are. You always are so, so good. Are you gonna get up soon? I guess maybe we should. We do need to get all of our errands finished, but... Why don't you stay in bed just a little longer? I mean, we might as well make the most of these mornings. And it's just so warm. Outside of this blanket is way too cold. But I guess it's my fault for wearing shorts. 
No, I'm... I'm not getting sleepy. What are you talking about? Just because I'm so, so comfy with you doesn't mean that I'm sleepy. Maybe I am just a little bit, but that doesn't mean I'm going back to sleep. Just getting to play with your hair and play here with you. It's all so comforting. And honestly, I think I'm too hungry to fall asleep again. We really need to go get that breakfast, you know? It's always bad when I go shopping when I'm hungry. We might have to buy a million snacks, too. But while we're here in bed, I have you all to myself. And I know, I know I said we have to get up, but maybe we should stay a little longer. Yeah, you like it here, don't you? It's like the perfect morning. What are you thinking of getting for breakfast, huh? I know you want some bacon, but you want some French toast. Or maybe you can get some pancakes too. Or maybe some waffles. I always forget which one you like more. I always feel like you're a waffle person, but you eat just about anything I give you. I guess a pancake and a waffle are just as good when your girlfriend makes them right. I love getting to cook for you and getting to treat you. It makes me think about us together, spending our future, being so happy. Getting to be together forever. Having a family. And making so many memories. I guess we have to wait to decide things like that. Eventually, everything will just fall into place. And right now, I get to live in the moment. With you right by my side. Just laying here, so, so peacefully. I love you so much. How about you sleep for a little longer, darling? And then, when you wake up, I'll bring you breakfast in bed. I might have to go get some for myself, but I'll let you sleep a little longer, and you can wake up to all the bacon you want, okay? I love you so, so much. Sweet dream. Oh, hey, baby. I didn't expect you to come over. Well, I mean, like, I guess I didn't expect to see you here when, when I got home. No, no, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm always excited to see you. You... Usually, don't surprise me like this, though. You tell me when you're going to come over. Did, did something happen? Did, did something go wrong? You're okay, right? 
Oh, you just wanted to see me? That's so cute. You are so cute, baby. I know. I've, I've just been a bit busy recently. I'm sorry for not spending as much time as you usually do together. I was actually going to call you today because I, I really missed you. I miss hearing your voice and I miss talking to you and I'm always thinking about you. I know I've missed you too, baby. Come here. Give me a hug, okay? <laughs> well, I'm glad I get to see you now. Also, I, I guess while you're here, do you, do you want anything to drink? Or do you want a snack? I have a bunch of different snacks in the kitchen that I actually do have some of your favorite drinks. Or, are you not hungry? Are you sure, baby? I don't want you to be not taking care of yourself. Is everything okay? I feel like something's off. You, you usually want a, a nice snack or drink when we hang out, you know? You don't, you don't seem like your usual self. You know, I can always tell when something's wrong, so please tell me. There's something wrong, right? Let me know what's upsetting you, baby. You know, I'm always here to talk with you. If it's something about yourself, or even if it's between us, I, I want to talk to you. Oh, you're... You've been feeling a bit insecure. About your body and, and about yourself. Baby. Oh, baby, come here. I'm, I'm sorry. Just let me hold you, okay? You know I don't care about any of those things. I don't care if you feel like you're not working out enough or you feel like you, you need to eat a bit differently. I, I love you the way you are. You know I've, I've loved you ever since I met you and you looked a lot different back then. You've had your ups and downs, and that's never made me change anything about how I feel. I promise I want you way or all muscular or not you are, or even if you're struggling a bit, it doesn't change the way I see you. I, I think you're perfect to me. I don't see why, why you would ever feel pressure to change. Trust me, okay? You are absolutely perfect to me. I found you attractive since the day I met you. And every single day since, those feelings have never changed. You feel a bit better now, right? Well, if you're going to be a good boy, I think you should have something to eat. You must be starving, right? And you can have one of your favorite drinks right with your snack. I got you some chocolate milk. I've had it in my fridge for a while. And I know how much you like it. Let me take the lid off for you. There you go. I have to admit, I've, 
I've been keeping it in the fridge in the hopes that you'd come visit. I, I really was missing you. Good job, baby. It tastes real good, doesn't it? I know sometimes you, you feel a bit down about how you feel about yourself. You don't think you're enough, and it just feels like everybody else is so much better than you. But trust me, you're perfect to me. Just because there's some guy you see that you think is so much stronger or more attractive than you. Just because you think that way doesn't mean that I feel that way. I think you're attractive. And you're the only one I want. And you will always be the perfect one for me. I know it's hard for you to get that in your head, but... I know with time it'll be easier and easier for you to trust me. I always want to be here for you. And you always know how much I worry about you. You always tell me I worry too much, but... It's times like these I... I think it's all justified. I worry about you because I want you to be happy. I never want you to feel this way. Because you've been such a good boy. You don't deserve to feel this way. I love every single part of you. Every little bit. Even the ones you hate. When you think your stomach's not toned properly. You want your abs to be more prominent. Maybe you just want to lose weight in general. You want your arms to be bigger. Your muscles to be stronger. But the way you are right now, it's perfect to me. And even if get stronger and stronger or maybe you take a break and you get a bit weaker none of that matters to me baby I just love you for you I love being able to see you as long as you're happy I love my happy cute puppy boyfriend You know, I guess that chocolate milk was pretty good, right? It seems like you drank almost all of it already. Do you mind if I get a taste? I know there's not enough for me to drink, but just a little kiss to give me a little taste. Just one. You are so sweet. You know, I love little moments like this. It's like all those cheesy, cute little couple moments. I guess it's the type of stuff you see in some stupid rom-com, but... It's actually real. Being able to say... Everything I feel in my heart. And being all cute and lovey-dovey with you. You make me feel all warm. You want to cuddle, baby? Yeah, of course, my darling. Although maybe we should clean up the trash we left behind. I can go 
put it away and if you want another one, you can just ask, okay? Just come into my arms and cuddle with me. Yeah, and bring the blanket too. So we can be so, so warm together. And so, so cozy. Yeah. You know, I... I just wanted to say that... I really do love you. I love you so, so much. And I know you probably don't believe me when I say it. Or you think I'm just teasing you. But you really are a good boy. You mean so much to me. And every time you open up about these things, I... I feel like we grow so much closer. I care about you. I really, really do. So please, love yourself, okay? Even when you feel like you should be doing better, I still love you. So you should too. And if you want to work really, really hard and get way too strong than you can and I'll love you even more not for how you look but for how much effort and dedication you have I love that about you seeing you work so hard Wanting everything and getting it. 